this is Sarah Neighbor with Sarah Loves to Stamp and today I'm bringing you another different type of video. I'm all about these new types of videos apparently. So um, yeah, Paper Pumpkin is really exciting. I didn't tell you guys about it originally when it debuted. Um, I've been a subscriber since the very beginning and I do love it but in the beginning I'll be honest the value wasn't as awesome as it is now and now the kits are something I'm really proud of and I think that a lot of you would really really enjoy it. It's super fun. So the concept of Paper Pumpkin is very similar to like Ipsy Bags or Birchbox. It's a subscription service that you get monthly and um, yeah so it's a surprise which is my favorite thing. I get Ipsy too and it's my favorite thing about my Ipsy bag that I don't know what you know cosmetic products I'm getting. So this is the same idea except for for crafters. So um, sometimes it's cards, sometimes it's uh, home decor or 3D items, that type of stuff, but typically it's cards and no matter what it is, I love it. So it comes in these super fun kind of orangey red boxes and it says creativity on a box or in a box. You can't really read that very well because it'll get blurry if I tip it up. So what I thought I'd do today is unbox my, this is the August one with you and um, just show you what's inside. I did pull out, they come with this super cute tissue paper, so it has tissue paper and it's like wrapped all nice, it has a sticker and so you could unwrap it, but um, I already took that out, so I apologize. Um, and one other thing I wanted to mention really fast, uh, this is a really great deal that's going on right now, um, it's half off your first two months. So normally it's $19.95, which includes your shipping, um, the only thing that's added on to that is tax because it differs for every state obviously. Um, so this is going on through September 10th only, this is 2015. Um, and if you use the promo code half off, you'll get your first two months half off. So it'll be $9.98 plus tax. And then after the first two months, if you continue to be a sus subscriber, it is $19.95 plus tax, which is still a great deal considering shipping is probably $5 anyway. Um, so anyway, the thing that I love the most about these and the reason I kept subscribing no matter what is the stamp set. The only way to get these stamp sets is to be a subscriber and once that month is gone you typically can't get it there's some there's some ways that subscribers can get extra boxes but um anyways it's an exclusive stamp set to the box so i'll show you that um let's see what else was i going to tell you oh i will put the information on how to subscribe below in the description box um if you want to have me as your demonstrator and it's super simple I'm super excited about this month. So one thing you also get that's um, exclusive to the boxes is the Stampin' Spots. Stampin' Up! used to sell those and a lot of people ask if we still have them. This is the only way to get them now. So you get different ones every month. Sometimes you get one, sometimes you get two. In your first box you also get, I feel like I'm talking at the speed of sound guys. Um, in your first box you also get a block, which I forgot to pull out a block, but anyway, you get a block. Okay, like an acrylic block. So there's the Stampin' Spot. Oh, and here's all the goodies. Goodness gracious. Sorry, I'm getting rid of the box because it's just too small for my little area here. Um, or my my area is too small for the box. So you can see I started to unwrap it. It comes like um, shrink wrapped or whatever with everything you need in the kit. And so I'm going to go ahead and pull the shrink wrap off. Oops. I knew that mat was going to move. Sorry. I'm going to pull it back down to where we should be. Okay. And so it comes with um, it comes with some different adhesives. Like if you need strong adhesives, there's your ribbon stamp set. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, I love the sympathy for you. Hello with love, and I love these beautiful. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, and then it comes with like die cut things and envelopes. And this is stunning. I stinking want to be able to buy like a hundred, I don't know, sheets of this. This is beautiful. It's gold foiled, people. Oh, I love this. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make, I don't know if I'll run out of memory on my memory card. I'm ordering a new one from Amazon so I can film more videos and not have to worry about them running out. Oh, these are so cool. So I'm going to try, and they always come with a piece of chipboard, which I save for other things. Oh, oh, cool. Fringe. Neat. Um, so I save that chipboard for something else. And then here's the full instructions. Oh, they go this way. <laughs> and um, yeah, it shows you all the instructions. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, chalkboard. That's the whole idea here. It's supposed to look chalkboard like cute. Okay, so it says contains supplies for three boxes, six cards, and six envelopes. So I think I'll go ahead and create one of each of the box, one box, one card, and one of each of the cards. 
Okay, so let's get her going, shall we? This is cool, guys. I really like this one. Okay, I had heard it was really awesome. I went to convention, but I totally missed the, like, we could sneak peek it thing at convention. Okay, so you can punch out all your little parts. I'm just gonna punch out one of each, because like I said, I'm gonna make one of each for, for now, and that'll just save us a little time. Uh, and the idea behind these boxes is that whatever you're creating should be able to be done within um, a half an hour, is the idea. Now sometimes maybe a little more, sometimes maybe a little less. Okay, oh, these are cool. Okay, what shape do I need? I need the tag shape for the box, it looks like. And then one of these. And one of these. Oh, and it looks like you get that one too. Like you could choose what shape you want. So you may have some leftovers too. I meant to mention that. You can also do some, oh yeah, totally. You will totally have a tag left over in each one. Um, unless, also you may make a mistake. So that's another reason they give you extras. Okay, we need one of those because that's the card base. And oh, these boxes are so cool. Ah, look at these. They're gold foiled boxes, guys. I can't even handle this. Oh, those are beyond cute. Okay, sorry. I'm getting all excited and like folding them ahead of time. Okay. And then we need one of these. And I think we're gonna need two of the flowers is what it's looking like. Oh yeah, this is so awesome. I love it, love it. I'm sorry, did you gather that I'm excited about this yet? Okay, and then these, it looks like we need two. Oh, I think I lost one. I think it's on top of that one. And it looks like these, you're gonna have an extra Oh, maybe I need three of them. Oh, that's probably why there's three. Well, here we go. Let's pull out. So, um, so the only thing you need to provide is scissors and like a tape runner adhesive. Like they'll always give you your fancier adhesives. So the only thing you need to provide is the tape runner. Oh, oh, it's one long piece of ribbon. You need to cut that. <laughs> okay. Bending down again. I keep losing the instructions. All right. Um, stamp chalkboard die cuts with white ink set aside to dry. Okay, so that's a good tip. I'm glad they mentioned that because I was already thinking, oh, I'm going to have to heat set these or something. So, um, they gave us the white craft ink this month. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Um, they gave us the white craft ink and the white craft ink is a pigment ink, so it does need, oh, it was perforated already. Wow, I'm telling you, these kits are getting fancier than they used to be. Okay. It's also perforated on the back too. I was just going to pull the lid off. Shenanigans. There we go. Okay. Um, so the white crafting has a pigment ink. It's different than our dye ink, so it does take a minute to dry. So that's just something to be aware of. They will never, like, they won't send you a stamp that's too big for the block they give you, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, I think I might go ahead, I'm going to stamp this one, and then I'm going to stamp the other ones off of camera, because otherwise we're going to run into a time issue here, I believe. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stamp that for you. Cute, 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 cute. Step, step, step. I do like to, with the stamping spots, bring my... Like, like I just did, like, set my st that down and do my on top. I'm sure that made a lot of sense. Okay, and then I'm going to stamp it right in the center, hopefully. Cross our fingers, folks. Here we go. Uh, pretty, pretty good for me. I'm pretty pretty too. Okay, I'm just going to grab another block. Just for time's sake. This is so cute. I'm so in love. And I'm in love with the chalkboard look. I mean, that look is just so cute. So cute. Oh, sorry for getting my head in here. Okay. I just lined it up like there's these two little dents right there. I lined up the end of the stamp with that. And then I'm just going to flip my thing over and do the one on the other side. I really like this. Okay. And I did brush my hair before I filmed this video because I figured I might be sticking my head in the video and who needs that? I'm trying to do a really good job for you guys here on camera. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. That's cute. That's real cute. Okay, and like I said, this will smudge because it is the craft ink. So you're just going to want to set that aside. Sorry, I'm reaching through there again. And I'm going to pause this video and stamp the other two and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and everything's stamped. Um, the cards are very simple to put together. So all we have to do is put adhesive on the back of these and um, the dimensionals come in the kit. I just cut up, I always do this, even with like like my ones from Stampin' Up! I do this with too, like the regular ones I purchase. Um, I cut all the, I don't know if you can see that, but I cut all the edge pieces. So I'm I have more to use basically. 
Okay, so now that the dimensional backs are all pulled off, um, I have a bone fuller. If you don't have a bone fuller, just use your hands to do it. It's no big deal, okay? So I don't want you to think like you can't do it if you don't have a bone fuller because that's not one of the you know supplies they say you have to have to do these. So then once that's done, um, they have the pink banner on the pink card. Now you can mix it up. Do what you want to do. This is your, my paper pumpkin. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's totally up to you. I'm just trying to get centered here. Should be using my grid lines. That would make my life a little simpler, but such is life. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. And then this little greeting on it. And I think I'd like it a little up higher and centered would be good. There we go. There's that. And just keep in mind, like, because it said to put both of them on dimensionals, you don't want dimensionals, like, over here. Or you'll be, like, adhering your card like that. It'll be kind of goofy looking. Okay, so that card's done. How cute is that? So simple. And then same thing with this card. I think it would be really cute to mix it up, too. Um, let's see. I'm going to put it, like, here-ish. And let's see. I think over here that way would be a little bit closer to center. There we go. And then this one. Oh, and this one. I might have the dimensionals too far out on it. I kind of do. It may be fine. We'll just have to see. Oops. This guy is pretty fun. So I went ahead. It says to use a pencil to curl the thingies. Um, I didn't have my pencil out. So I tried to use this paintbrush handle. Oof way too small so it was a little bit problematic I recommend using a pencil like it says or on this one if you have a bone folder I'm sorry um, you can curl the petals like so and it says in the instructions to go ahead and curl the petals um, like the farthest one out you want the least curl and then the most curl in the one in so I did the the farthest one out and the closest one in and then I thought I'd just show you one of them so I'm gonna go ahead and roll this Cute, cute. Or this might be end up being the center if this looks really, really good. I'm gonna just push that one back down. Whoopsie. Roll in. Slide that one back down. Roll this one in. Oh, and I'm showing my nerdy side here. This is a pencil I had from when I was teaching math. So you get to know how super nerdy I am if you can read my math pencil here. Okay. There we go. And then just kind of Zhuzh them a bit with your fingers. Ooh, that one might look better than that one. I think I'm going to use that one as the center. And then we'll just kind of move these ones out a little bit. Make that one that one. Okay, perfection. Now, I already peeled that off of there. So, all this needs is, it says to just use a dimensional in the middle of that one. Add the next one on top. And I'm going to add it kind of at an angle. Ta-da! And then I'm going to add this one to the center at an angle. Uh, cute. Okay, and then we have the cool center part, which is what this fringe business is for. You see that? And it just says, again, you wanna curl that with a pencil. So it's a little trickier because they are separate little pieces. Oops. So I'm just gonna try and grab a bunch of them and kinda of roll them over the end of my pencil and then I'll just grab a whole bunch more and do the same thing. And then grab a whole bunch more and just kind of roll them like that. So it looks pretty good. They're a little bit... It, and these don't have to be rolled all the way. They're just um, just to fluff them up a little bit. Okay, and then it's going to have you put this shenanigan on there. See, this is already like an adhesive strip. Very handy. And it says to place that on one end of the fringe. Can you tell I'm reading off my instructions while I'm sitting here? Okay. And then peel that off. Oh, cool. It's like super simple. And then you're going to roll that. Yeah, you're going to roll it this way. So you're actually rolling it with the, um, like with the doodads going inwards. I don't know if that made any sense whatsoever, but anywho, here we go. And so you're just going to try and keep it tight as you roll. It'd be easier if I pick this up and do it. Oh yeah, that was pretty easy. There we go. Oh, I think this is going to be really cute, guys. I mean, you know how things always look like real cute in the pictures? 
and then you do it and it's always like, oh man, mine doesn't look as cute as the picture. I think I have a shot of this looking as cute as the picture. Would you believe it? Okay. Oh, look at that. That's so cute. Okay. And then you zhuzh it out a little bit. Whoops. Got a little wild with that part. And perhaps also like if you had, oh, look at there. Just kind of smoosh it a little bit with my hand. Ooh. Oh yeah. That's real cute. Real cute. And then it says to attach it with a dimensional. So I'm just going to take a dimensional. Stick it on the bottom of here, and look, that's almost a perfect diameter, so it's not going to show. And then we're going to try and stick it in the center of here. Let's see, I might get my head in here again. Oh, that's so cute. I'm just going to smash it a little bit. Oh, that's adorable. Adorable! I want to make like a hundred of these. Okay, box. And we're almost done. Um, okay, so these boxes, you're going to want to put the flap with the two tabs in first, then the sides. Okay, I was trying to be fast. My card died anyway. Boo on that. Um, but I just put a piece of the adhesive. I didn't use the whole length because I didn't do the as much overlap as they had. So like the adhesive would stick to the box. Um, yes. So I, um, so I just used part of the adhesive, stuck that to the ribbon. So that's there. So I'm going to go ahead and obviously you want your end of the ribbon to be on the back of the box. So I'm just going to start like this. Whoop. Okay, there we go. And this would probably be slightly easier if your box were actually like actually had something in it, but whatever. Um, and I just folded over the head, the very bottom of the ribbon, if you can see that. Hmm. Let's fold over the very bottom of the ribbon because I didn't want it to uh, fray or show the fraying or whatever. Okay, I'm just going to take that off of the box really fast so I can get it to look nice while it's... while I still can here, people. Okay, so there's that. And then you can just slide that back on. Now, if you want people to be able to open the box without, like, having to tear into... like, tear into what you've done, or tear open the box, just put a, like put your dimensionals like on the ribbon, which is what I should have done to begin with. It's actually exactly what the um, picture shows. Now that's not what I did on the back of here, so I'm just going to go ahead and remove these. Hopefully it'll go pretty well. It's a little trick I do quite frequently when I mess up, is I just peel off the dimensionals. You'll see it's just going to be kind of a sticky little mess. And then you can use your adhesive remover to get rid of it. Or if you don't have an adhesive remover, you can probably pick at most of it. Like, look at this. If I just keep rolling them over it, it's removing the adhesive. See that? So you can just do that. Um, I normally just use my adhesive remover. Oh, shenanigans. Kind of bent the tag a little bit. Oh, goodness. Okay. My tag look okay? Oh, it definitely, you can see there's a bend in it. Anyway, I think you get the idea. I'm going to stick this on there. I think we want the flower. Oh, they have the flower basically like in the center. It's a little bit off center, but almost in the center. And then you'll adhere the tag. Just put two more dimensionals out here and stick your tag, okay? Now, I'm not going to do that because, like I said, I messed my tag up and my tag's kind of bendy now because I, when I was pulling up the dimensionals. But that's alright because remember we had extras. So, no big deal. I will fix it. And that's the paper pumpkin for this month. If you sign up now, you will not get this box. You have to sign up by the 10th of the month to receive that month's box. Um, you may have an opportunity as a subscriber to purchase past boxes. So you may be able to get it in the future. I have no knowledge of that. It just depends on if they have enough or whatever. Um, however, if you want to sign up for future boxes, you use the promo code half off. It does expire September 10th. So what that means is if you subscribe by September 10th, you will get the September and October boxes half off. Um, and I, like I said, I have no idea what they're going to be. I know they had a peak of both this box, the August box and the September box at convention. I totally missed it, but um, I heard they were amazing. I'm super excited to get the September one. I'm ex so excited to get it every month. Stampin' Up! does put up a video that shows you how to do it. Um, it has just like little hands and cute music and they have it like sped through. It's super cute. Um, they do have that up every month so you can see it before you get it, um, but not early enough to like defer your subscription for that month. So 
Um, I usually just don't watch it because I really like the surprise in my mail. So, anywho, but um, just keep in mind, it's the value of the whole thing, but then you also get the stamp set and the spot. These two things you can use, you know, forever. This is, it's, it's evergreen. So, anywho, um... I hope you like this, and I am going to try and post a few more videos of past pumpkin kits while this promotion is going on, because I figure maybe you'd enjoy seeing what the past ones have been, um, because the past, like, year has been amazing. So, um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a little bit different, and I am going to try in the future months and do some alternate projects with them on video with you guys. Um... So the more subscribers I have, the more likely I will be to devote my time to that. So if you like these videos, um, click subscribe and definitely try out Paper Pumpkin with that half off code. And um, I will talk to you all very soon. I hear my daughter crying upstairs, so I'd better run for now. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.